Hi everybody. My name is Timothy Trespass and I am still a targeted individual being tortured and uh, murdered by remote microwave, you know, been given more gallons, genetic manipulation, and the whole rest. So, uh, here I am, it's 11 something in the morning. Why do I make these videos? Because nobody really cares. Because there's nobody in my life that really gives a shit besides Petra. And, uh, it's just too, too fucking horrendous to be tortured and murdered by what you believe may be the, the, you know, the government of your own country or some new SS, you know, Nazi reliving crap, I, you know, whatever. It doesn't matter who's killing me or why they're doing it. It's happening. And it's not just me. It's thousands and thousands of other people. And is there ever going to be a time when, like, America wakes up or the rest of the world wakes the fuck up and says, Hey, wait a minute. Why are all these people dying? Why are they all complaining of being tortured? There must be something to this. Or are we just going to sit here with our thumbs in our asses, uh, watching television, uh, hoping to God we don't end up like people like me? And, uh, you know, now I know that the people who watch this are fellow targets, so my ranting to the normal world really doesn't make any fucking difference. So, uh, you know, uh, as always, I spent a horrible night um, tossing and turning and nausea and headache and high frequency screaming in my head and uh, death is a process. Death is a process that can happen either quickly or slowly. And I'm watching it occur slowly. Not that slow, but, you know, slow enough so you can actually see the stages and the changes. You know, why has my face changed shape and structure and my nose has changed? position and my nostrils are now not round and my lips are fucking curled and my eyes are one bigger than the other and my skull plates are separating and you know it looks like my whole head has become a fucking banana you know like one side is different than the other ah uh, and this has been going on for a number of years uh, I first noticed this when I was in my 20s. At that point it was still small enough to where you had to take a piece of paper and, you know, but, uh, so here I am, a human being, at least I think I am, with a name, Timothy Trespass, great name, uh, who has discovered that I have been part of some kind of mind control, programming, drugging, hypnotic, you know, the whole fucking shit, get people to destroy themselves, uh, you know, my theory is that it's, it's an extension of trauma-based mind control, and let's see if we can figure out how to make the traumas work so that nobody even knows they happened. Um, in my case, you know, I don't know whether my parents, my adoptive parents, are part of this shit. With my mother from a Freemason family, uh, or whether they're just idiots who were profiled and tested. And you know, before my adoptive parents were allowed to adopt, they had to go through almost a year of meetings and testing and. Uh, you know, are you good enough, are you this, are you that, profiling. So these people would have known exactly what kind of people they were putting me with. Then there's the missing four months uh, after I was born, taken from my mother's arms, uh, my birth mother, never allowed to suckle or be held or to have her hold me. And, um, you know, who knows what they did with me. Supposedly I was in foster care for four months. But when my birth mother says she went to foster care, she says the baby they brought out 
and claimed was me, didn't look anything like me, she didn't think it was me, and she didn't believe them. But what are you going to do when you're 18, 17, you know, and uh, the system lies to you and the doctors keep you uh, tied up in knots for four months so you finally are certain you want to put your baby up for adoption. You know, they kept her holding on and thinking and not deciding. They wouldn't let her decide, even though she had decided already. Anyway, you know, a lot of my stuff now is just rambling, complaining, upset, hurting, and, you know, I apologize if it denigrates into my own personal hell. Part of the reason I started doing this was because nobody would listen. Nobody would care. And, and I had to get it out. I had to get it out. So... And it's only because my name is a unique keyword on the internet that anybody knows I exist. Um, I want to thank everybody who actually thought about me, who actually prayed for me, who actually cared for me, who even a few people sent us some money. Thank you. Um, thank you. You know, I, I, I look at the world and I look at the, the, what they're showing me. This is tap water, by the way. Uh, see, my memory is so fucked, I can't even remember what I was saying. I want to show you something. See this little object here? Does it look like a shoe? With some fancy leather? It does, doesn't it? I got a little clean up the glue, we're gonna polish it up, but look at that heel, it's got a leather heel. This is a shoe! And it fits a doll. A handmade doll that Petra made. A doll named Davy. Uh, that looked sort of like David Bowie and represented her alter ego. Um, this shoe took I don't know how many hours, but she's been working on these for a couple of months now. It, not that she's been working on them, but they've been sitting in a little bag, and da 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 She's finally getting around to it. She's made one. Soon, Davy will have shoes. I mean, look at this woman. Look how talented she is. I love her so much. Here's the other shoe. It will be made soon, and Davy will have shoes. See, they stole Davy from Petra, her first Davy doll, uh, when we moved, when we first moved out of the Midtown Hotel, where this crazy shit really started in earnest, and it was unmistakably happening. So we moved to this place in Bushwick, and we thought we were okay, and this, you know, what happened is it's a long story, but basically they basically stole, you know, half of everything we own. They stole everything that was covered in, in smart dust, the bed and the, the whatever. And the, t t t anyway, um, they stole Davy, And she was so crushed. She was so hurt because Davy was a doll that she had spent, you know, 20 years on and off working on. Davy was her alter self, you know? I, I don't know, I'm not a big doll player myself. I've done a little bit of you know, role playing, whatever, but it was very important to her. And when they stole him, they stole a very big piece of her heart, a piece of herself, and, and I saw how crushed she was. And of course, not only do I get to carry that with me, but the fact that I wasn't able to protect her from these fucking people, that they used me to make this all happen, it, it's very painful. But I encouraged her to make another doll. And for a year or so she said, I can't do that, no, it's too much, it's too long, it's too... <laughs> but I encouraged her. And she finally did it. We went and we got the materials, and. 
you know, we did some shopping, we looked around, she made it. You know, granted it took months and months and... I don't know. That's my sweet Petra. I would be dead without her. Anyway, thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. God bless you all.